Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a video on how I wash Coda. So if you would like, I will leave all of the products listed below so that if you'd like to purchase them, they are readily available. So first thing we'll need is some amino gloss, as well as Equinade shampoo concentrate, protein conditioner, a dandy brush, any type of curry comb your horse prefers, a hose attachment and hose, a sweat scraper and a bucket and sponge. So first thing I'm doing is I am diluting the amino gloss. This is because it's a concentrated shampoo. So any concentrated shampoo will have different instructions on what ratio of shampoo to water you will need. So just make sure you follow those instructions. I really love the amino gloss. It's uh, also a medicated shampoo, so if need be, I can treat them with that, but it also gives them a very nice shine. Here I am just wetting the coat down. I always start at the legs because I've been told that if you start on the body and the horse isn't used to the temperature, they can go into shock. It's also a nice way of introducing the water to them so that they don't spook. She's just having a drink there. So I'm making sure to saturate the coat fully making sure to go under the belly and over the legs and overall parts. I like to do it by side, so I'll start on this side and then I'll wet the other side just because by the time I get to the other side she would have been dry anyway. So now I am just putting the shampoo over her body. I'm using it quite liberally because you've got a fair amount of shampoo that you can use. Um, so it's diluted so you can add as much as you need to and it's not going to be harsh on her coat. I like it to be quite sudsy so that means I do have to apply a fair bit. Making sure to go over the legs and over the belly. Then I'm grabbing my curry comb and going over her body with that in a circular motion. This ensures that you are getting down to the skin and you are scrubbing out all of the dead skin cells and dirt that is in the coat. It also gives them a really nice massage and promotes blood flow. Um, and this is a really important grooming step in your everyday grooming routine to ensure that they do get a shiny coat. So I'm concentrating on the areas where the most dirt and skin cell buildup is, which is usually over Coda's hips and her bum, over, right over the spine of her bum as well as over her belly. Then I'm grabbing my dandy brush. I use this on their legs because curry combs can be a bit harsh over the bony parts of their body. As well as this, the bristles are really good at getting into all the nooks and crannies of their legs and scrubbing out the thicker hair. Then I'm washing her face. I like to do her face all in one go just because this is her least favourite part about the bath. Um, so if I was to just wash one side and wet it down and then go to the other, I'm pretty sure she would hate me forever. Now I am rinsing off her body. I have a sweat scraper in my hand ready to go because I like to scrape and then hose over her again to make sure that all of the soap is off her body because if you leave the soap on their skin, it can promote extra dandruff um, and skin irritation and you really don't want that. The reason I really like this wand hose attachment is because you can lower the pressure and this is her favourite one to use on her head. Um, all the other ones are a bit too harsh for her and this one just trickles down over her head so that it's not too invasive, it's not going to get in her ears and I can put it in all the nooks and crannies, get behind her ears and everything like that without getting her ears wet. So if you'd like, I'll leave this product in the description below also. I'm making sure not to get any of the soap in her eyes, so I'm just wiping off the water above it. And now I'm just gonna do the other side. This is sped up uh, because obviously it's the exact same thing but I do tend to spend longer on this side of her body just because she has the two white socks and I wash her mane when I'm doing this side of the body. So here I am just wetting her down with the soap again and I'm scrubbing her.
now I am using the Equinade Show Silk Concentrate Shampoo on her mane. I like to use just straight shampoo on their manes and tails because I like it to be quite sudsy. I don't like it to be watered down because it tends to run out of the mane before I even get to scrubbing it. So I'm making sure to get right in deep into the skin and massage it and make sure I'm getting all of the dandruff out of it if there is any. By massaging the skin also you're promoting growth. So if you tend to have a horse that rubs their mane out over winter or just has a thin mane, scrubbing over the skin of their mane and tail is going to promote growth in their mane and tail. Um, I also tend to wash her mane and tail once a week and then her body is usually around once a fortnight. The reason I do this is because a clean mane and tail will also promote growth and also it is just better for itchiness as well because she tends to get quite itchy if I don't. Now I'm just putting conditioner into her mane, just spreading it across and I tend to leave it in for quite a while. Now I'm just doing the tail so it's the same thing as with the mane, I make sure to wet it down it's really important to wet right down into the dock because that's where you are washing and you don't want it to be dry while you're washing it. It just makes your job a lot harder. So again, I'm using the Show Silk Concentrate in her tail. And I'm just spreading the shampoo over the tail now and then I will begin scrubbing up at the top and work my way down. I'm making sure to get right into the middle there because it tends to be that that's where the most dirt build up is. Now I'm just washing the bottom of the tail and what I'm doing is I'm actually rubbing the tail against itself. This is a really handy cleaning technique for the bottom of the tail and it's also useful if you need to spread shampoo to other parts of the tail also. just rinsing that one out again making sure to get all of the soap out because it can cause irritation and itchiness as well as dandruff buildup now I'm just putting conditioner into her tail I really love this protein conditioner it always leaves it feeling really soft protein and conditioner also repairs damage in the hair um, so it's really important to apply that and treat your tail with that. And it also smells really good. Now I'm just rinsing out my sponge and my sponge bucket. I use this sponge uh, and sponge bucket to put a hot oil treatment on Dakota. So this is the High Shine Coat Oil and the QV Bath Oil. I use a mixture of the two on her coat. The QV bath oil is for dry skin and the Showtime coat oil is to repair and nourish hair follicles. So I make sure to shake both of them. I put it into warm water, not too hot, not too cold. And it is supposed to be diluted. The QV bath oil does not require very much at all. And then I mix it all up and it should be white in colour and then I spread it all over her body quite generously. I don't like to condition the horse's coats with a conditioner, I prefer to use a coat oil uh, because it doesn't make their coat slippery like a conditioner does. Um, also, it's a leave-in coat oil, it's not, you don't rinse it off like you would a conditioner, so it continues to nourish the hairs for hours after you have put it on. Eternal. 
the HSC Showtime Coat Oil also smells really good. I love the smell of it and it leaves your horse smelling really good also. So I try and use absolutely all of the mixture that I have made up. So I just put it on extra parts of the body where I find she needs extra nourishment of her skin, which is usually over the hips and over the neck. Unfortunately, I lost the footage where I rinsed out her mane and tail with the conditioner in it and I also sweat scraped the remainder of the oil water mixture off of her body. You don't rinse it off, you just sweat scrape it, it's really important. So by this time, yes, I have rinsed out her mane and tail and I'm just putting on her tail rug. This tail rug is from Heads to Tails Horseware. They have a website online that I can link below because these are awesome or you can go in store if you live local to them in Geelong. This is the finished product. She is so shiny. I'm so happy with it. I always love bath day because she always looks so good. So you can see how shiny her legs are and how fluffy her mane is. She doesn't look very impressed with me at this point. <laughs> but she looks absolutely awesome. You can just see her tail here, nice and clean. Oh, look at that shine, isn't it amazing? And that love heart. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Again, if you do want to use the same products, they will be linked below. And I will see you next time. Bye. I wake up when I die. And it is too late to climb any mountain